and your league? Sure. Angela Robinson, the Junior League of Richmond. And are you president? I am president. There's really a couple of things that um, come to mind for me about the strategic roadmap. First and foremost, I'm excited about it. The questions that have been posed, the way they've been posed, really helps us discover new ways of thinking um, that is exciting. For the Junior League of Richmond in particular, there are elements of that strategic uh, roadmap that really brings more credence and credibility to the work that we are currently doing and have been doing over the last 18 months. And those are things dealing with conversations about membership, um, those conversations around the governance structure. And um, the most intriguing, I think, for me of all is this notion of shifting the mission statement so that the three core elements that we all work toward in our mission statement really has a more succinct way uh, for people to understand who we are and what we're about. It is the process I find very intriguing. Um, the fact that we are willing for the first time, and I think in, in most corporations even, those companies who are willing to sort of slow down, be patient, uh, be willing to sort of kind of sit with the question uh, is really the most intriguing. And I applaud AJLI um, and those who have been serving on the committees for the willingness to not rush to action. Uh, but at the same time, taking action as it seems to be appropriate um, during that process. I think sometimes we get into a conversation of, by just having a dialogue, action is not occurring, but really action is occurring through the dialogue itself. So again, I, I applaud what AGL, AGLI is really up to in that regard. Great. What I find most challenging about the roadmap, what I'm trying to get my arms around, is the mission statement, the possible new mission statement, as it relates to the civic leadership portion. Is that a big L? Or is that a little L? Within our league, within Richmond's league, I know that there is about 60% of our membership, active membership base who, okay, who isn't really focused on um, being a leader or a civic leader. Um, I know that in time they may move to that, but really they're not entering for that, for that reason. They just want to give for the sake of giving and be a really good volunteer. In the Richmond League, we have actually shifted some of our training institute work from leadership development to actually what is it to be a volunteer? How do I engage with children? How do I engage with single mothers um, of the areas that we may be working with? Most of our, most of our uh, last two years of new members have actually been under the, right around the age of 24. So although they may have come with sorority experience or volunteering experience with their families as they have grown up, we find that they are sitting in the back room hovering around a cooler with one another or around the stove together and not really mingling because they just don't know how. So I would just, I'm interested in how this will all take shape and making sure that we keep that part of what our mission really helps to do, which is developing those women to understand what civic leadership really is. The aha moment, I guess, um, would have just come from the sheer virtue of there was so much that is contained in where you guys are currently finding yourself that mirrors what we are doing in the Junior League of Richmond. So it was exciting. It was like, wow, how could we so have so much synergy and be so aligned? I didn't feel alone, quite honestly. And for, for me and I think the members of the Junior League of Richmond board when they discover that AJLI and we are aligned in terms of defining what is that community impact? How do we get energized around that? We know both the sustaining membership base as well as our um, new members that are coming in, they're all looking for what are we about out there. They're excited about the training aspect, but they want to know we work in the West End or we work in the East Side or we work, it's with this issue and so the work that you guys have done there really does help elevate that and help us even further define what our community impact is so that we can generate some new synergy and new excitement within our league and I think really across the international scope.